So what, what we have is, is you know, a requirement for realistic reflections. Um, but th this game really just takes it to the next level. So one of the things that really characterizes this game is the amazing characters. Um, but what he has is, you know, he has this, this, this strong light source at his feet, and it's casting this big shadow on the wall. Now, you can't ray trace that. You, you, you can't pre-bake that. You have to ray trace that. And if I switch RTX off, you get just generally a big, strong shadow. And that doesn't fit with the characteristics of the light or the world. Um, and if I zoom in on him a bit more, you can actually see just the amazing amount of detail that he has. So if I go over here, you actually see that all that detail is correctly reflected, including the shadow, in this parabolic mirror. So if I look across here, you can actually see in the surface of, of the bomb that he is actually correctly reflected, and the shadows are fully intact. So a little wander through this amazing world. It, you know, th this has an absolutely beautiful aesthetic. Um, you know, there's some real artistry in here. Now, this guy, again, he has a strong light. And with RTX off, it's just a strong light with a very harsh shadow. And it detracts from the real beauty of these models. So as you can see, it isn't just static. We have some dynamics in here. If I switch RTX on, it still works. And it softens properly. You get the penumbra. You get the umbra. Absolutely everything's right. So let's have a look at something really interesting. So screen space reflections. We've talked about it all the time. right? And you can see that screen space reflections, when presented with a mirror that's very obvious here, you can actually see that it just breaks down because there's no information in the scene that can actually be reflected properly. So it's kind of a bit of guesswork when you have a screen space reflection. So as you can see there, right? So if I switch RTX on, we have the Bruce Lee moment. As you can see, we've got the Hall of Mirrors. We get the correct fall off. And because no mirror is perfect, you actually get the color fall off. And it fades out as a real mirror would. As you can see that we're not pre-baking any of this. You can actually see that there's detail in there. You know, those characters are properly animated. So just to prove that it really is a mirror, you know, again, they, you know, we, are, we have these characters across here. So people might say that, that real mirrors, you know, that, that could possibly, possibly be hacked, right? So as I wander around the scene, we've got some curved mirrors here. OK, and you can see that they're just, you know, they're breaking down, you know, they're not not quite right. You know, the, the graphics are still beautiful, but they're not quite right. Now, if I switch RTX on, we ha what we have here is we have multiple inter-reflections from two curved mirrors bouncing off each other. And there are more mirrors in the scene. You know, we're not limited to two. We still have the Hall of Mirrors effect going on across here. You know, this is real ray tracing. And th these are two convex mirrors. Now, on the other side of a convex mirror, we also have a concave mirror, and that reflects correctly what is going on across this side of the room. So, as you can see, we've got gorgeous shadows going on down here, the proper penumbra, the proper umbra, and even the smallest little details of this little guy down here. I mean, he's just awesome. It's like you can't help but fall in love with these characters. And with that, I'd like to thank you, and uh, I think Munfish have done an amazing job with this.